You drink about 2.6 gallons or 10 liters of tap water every week. A lot of articles in mainstream media claim that tap water is good for you and I'm going to show you the truth. To do this, I'm going to concentrate about 1.5 gallons of tap water. I will boil it until I have only half a glass left. This is what is in one pot of tap water. This water is now yellow and smells really bad. Look at all these floating particles. You might think these are minerals, so let's boil the same amount of mineral water to find out. This is the result. Clear water. Now let's take it a step further. I will boil 6.7 gallons or 25 liters of tap water to show you exactly what we're drinking every day. And this is what's left. This is what this water looks like dry. This is what your kidneys have to filter every two to three weeks. I sent this water for a laboratory analysis and the results were very surprising. This tap water didn't even have half of the mineral content of bottled water, so this powder is not minerals. And that's not the worst part. The analysis came back positive for two toxic metals, aluminum and lead. Both are responsible for brain and nerve damage. Both are mutagenic and carcinogenic. And if you think this is just an isolated local tap water pollution problem, we did this test in Manchester, Florida, Berlin and Poland with visibly similar results. When this experiment went viral a few years ago, people started sending me pictures of what their water tests look like and everywhere it was the same result. Don't think that this dirt comes from pipes or from a dirty pot and if you don't believe me, do this experiment yourself at home. So what is this stuff? We will try to answer this question but this video is about so much more. In a moment you will learn the truth and lies about water you have never heard of that might completely change your understanding of yourself and the world you live in, both physically and spiritually. If it happens and if this knowledge improves your quality of life, please say thank you by donating to this channel. It is quick and easy and you can use many methods. They are all listed at sponsor.b434.com. The link is in the video description or in the bio of my media account. To help me produce more valuable and mind-opening content like this, you can join Patreon or Subscribestar or you can buy some of the merch in the 434 shop. Also, if you would like to discuss anything with me, we can schedule a call. All links below. To get to the bottom of the truth about water, I need to tell you how I came up with this experiment and it has a lot to do with the origin of this channel. In 2015, when I tried to get access to psychedelic medicine, I tried to boil ayahuasca and grow psychedelic mushrooms at home and I learned quickly that it can't be done with tap water. This simple yet surprising revelation made me realize that the access to our health and spirituality might be hindered or even blocked by the water we drink. I took it a step further and I did some experiments with other types of liquids we drink, always achieving the same results. The link to that soda and wheatgrass experiment is in the video description. All of this led me to discovering new lies that are a part of our everyday life that nobody questions. It turns out that what we mostly have in our taps is recycled sewage. Whatever you flush down your drains ends up back in your tap. Additionally, corporations make and sell countless products filled with tens of thousands of different chemicals that end up in our water supplies. According to one study, we have now more than 2100 known toxins in our water. Not only do the chemical, pharmaceutical and agricultural industries pollute our water and soils, but other chemicals are purposely added to our water supply for purification purposes. And this is another lie about our tap water. The water treatment technology is more than a century old and it was never designed to remove chemical contaminants. It was meant only to make the water safe for drinking. In fact, most of the chemical compounds we use today didn't exist back when this technology was created. And as you can clearly see, they freely circulate in the tap water system. But we know about this and this is why we have accepted the bottled water industry as necessary evil. Something that didn't exist a few decades ago and something that doesn't need to exist today. Not many of us think about the fact that this water not only costs money, but it costs almost a thousand times more than tap water, with half the cost being generated by transportation, as it is sometimes shipped from remote locations thousands of miles away from shops, 
because of a simple marketing lie that makes you believe that this water is in some way different than what is available locally to you. Also, it is not a secret today that the unnecessary plastic bottles that are used as containers leak toxic chemicals and pollute our bodies and the environment, creating new range of health issues unheard of in the past. But in order to sell you this pointless product, water companies, medical professionals and government agencies came up with a lie trying to convince you to drink at least 2 liters or half a gallon of water every day. They created the dehydration lie where apparently your body doesn't have the ability to signal thirst. All of this so that you either drink tap water and all the chemicals in it or spend money on water bottles nobody should use. And this leads me to the biggest and the most important water lie of them all. That human is a drinking animal. Yes, it is true that depending on age, sex, surrounding temperature and activity, you should consume about one and a half liters of water a day. But it is meant to come from your food, as raw foods are made of up to 90% water. The truth is that, like in the case of other primates, drinking is not natural to you and you shouldn't drink as your food is mostly made of water. But the same food companies that sell dry, unnatural foods sell you that extracted water in a bottle. It is an insane process that ruins your health and the environment you live in. You probably never questioned that either, but eating and drinking at the same time is another nutritional conspiracy created by the biggest food corporations. And I would need to make a separate video explaining how bad this manufactured habit is to our bodies. These lies don't end there. The same corporations convinced you to drink milk of another animal, which is not only incredibly detrimental to your health, but also it should be classified as food, not as drink. We also believe that socially accepted toxic liquids like coffee, tea, soda, juice and alcohol are all safe to drink, while in reality they all make us sick. Unfortunately, those of us aware of these issues in search for a solution come up with equally bad ideas like drinking distilled water, which is free of dissolved minerals and thus making it a foreign, harmful substance to our bodies. Many also spend money on domestic filtering devices, most of which can't remove any chemicals from water. But there is another very important reason why you should pay attention to your water intake. Pineal gland is a small organ inside of your brain that is also called the third eye, as it is allegedly responsible for your spirituality and your divine connection. Like in the case of your arteries and blood vessels, with age it becomes calcified and loses its function. This means that eating toxic foods and drinking water filled with chemicals throughout your life will make you lose access to the metaphysical, your higher self or even your remote consciousness, effectively turning you into an empty shell of a human and a robotic zombie. That might be the true reason why drinking tap water is so widely advertised and recommended. The truth about water on the most fundamental level is that, like in the case of banning psychedelics, it is a war waged on your mind and on your access to the truth about yourself and your place in this world. And this truth is that the whole water narrative is a lie. You inhabit a place called Earth, but because land covers less than 30% of this world's area, this place should in reality be called water, as this substance is everywhere. It falls from the sky, it flows from under your feet, and all of the nature is based on and surrounded by water. Anyone telling you that there is a water crisis is lying and doesn't want you to know about the available desalination technologies we have had for decades. In fact, the forbidden true history of humankind started from a highly advanced civilization in the past, building fortresses surrounded by energetically loaded water. They knew what our water really is and we are slowly rediscovering these supernatural water properties. These people relied on local wells and underground water supplies. Their rivers and lakes were not polluted and were used as sources of electricity and as drinking water reservoirs. And this is the solution to our water problem. Everyone can have access to clean water because it is estimated that one third of all water on earth is stored underground and nothing is stopping you from getting access to it. But first, you need to start from minimizing or even removing the necessity to drink from your life. And you achieve this by switching to natural, organic, raw food diet. 
One of the most important functions of water is to flush toxins from the body and if you eliminate dry, processed, unnatural foods, your body will have no need for water. But there is another, deeper meaning to all of this. The water experiments by Masaru Emoto prove that water conducts and stores emotions and metaphysical energy. This is incredibly significant if you understand that your body is in 70% made of water and most of that water is known as cellular fluid. This means that the 50 trillion cells in your body that work collectively to maintain your health rely on the type of water that you consume. If it's pure and energized water from natural foods, your cells will thrive, regenerate and stay in communication with each other, allowing your consciousness to be in contact with your higher self, the divine and the invisible metaphysical mechanism behind the fabric of this reality. You're made of water and the world you live in is made of water. Your relationship with it is sacred. It's a divine source of human power that is being purposely polluted and disrespected. There is no spiritual healing and development without clean water in your body. You're a powerful, godlike being that can heal, grow and develop only with the help of the divine energy that flows through everyone and everything. Thank you for watching and if you enjoy this type of content, please support me and this channel to allow me to make more of these videos. Subscribe and follow, like and share this video. For merchandise, go to shop.b434.com. Leave your email address at news.b434.com. Visit the website of the artist and the musician I featured here. For more info or contact, visit b434.com and join 44 social media on YouTube, Facebook, BitChute, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and VK. Talk to each other on Reddit, Discord, and Telegram. All links in the video description.